It's been 25 years. The former ballerina who inspired a best-selling novel and the Hollywood film spent nearly half of her life in prison. Maritza Garrido hid Abimael Guzman, leader of the Maoist Shining Path movement, on the second floor of her dance studio in Lima before both were caught. Guzman led a rebellion in the 1980s to overthrow the government. Almost 70,000 Peruvians were killed in the war. Garrido completed her sentence on Monday. Her brother drove her away from prison. Some Peruvians believe she should have been punished much longer. I don't think it's right. She caused a lot of harm to this country. Abimael Guzman and his partner lived with Garrido for months. The ballerina fed them, brought them medicine, and allowed other Shining Path members to visit. On Monday, neighbors near her mother's home said they're nervous she will live nearby. I would have given her life in prison, but it's not up to me. The law's the law. Several thousand former Maoist fighters have completed their sentences and are free. Some politicians say the government has to remain vigilant of Garrido and other Shining Path members freed from jail. They say they haven't shown any remorse for supporting or participating in attacks. Former policeman and now legislator Marco Miyashiro was one of Guzman and Garrido's captors. By not showing any remorse, she's effectively defending Guzman's doctrine. However, human rights defenders say the justice system should be praised. The fact that someone like Garrido served her full sentence is a remarkable sign of a democratic judicial system. Abimael Guzman is serving a life sentence and other members of the Shining Path leadership will soon be freed. Some fear former rebels could join Movadef, a group with similar ideals to the nearly non-existent Shining Path. Although some analysts say it's not a threat to the stability of Peru. Diana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.